T-Mobile is improving their 5G network in LA. All right, I'm going to tell you guys why this is important. I'm going to tell you why this is good. And it's probably an indication of what they're going to be doing in larger cities around the country. And hopefully even the smaller towns, Midwest towns all across the country. All right, so earlier today, T-Mobile revealed that it has been working on permanent network improvements. I know a lot of people think that, you know, carriers will upgrade stuff, you know, in Super Bowl towns and big game towns. But the truth is, is once they make those improvements, they are permanent. So all the tower site upgrades, all the backhaul upgrades, they're there forever. And that's good, right? It would be messed up if the upgrades were downgraded once, you know, the game was was concluded. All right. So in speaking to the Super Bowl or the big game, as they say, Los Angeles is hosting this year. So T-Mobile, the uncarrier, has revealed these improvements. Everything is live in L.A. They've probably been working on this for several months, and now everything is up and running. It is the week of the game. So this is probably going to be a situation where the 5G coverage is improved, I'm assuming, full N71 600 megahertz expansion in the entire city. That'll give you some good indoor coverage. And then also lots of 5G UC, the N41, the 2.5 gigahertz boosting coverage. I'm sure they've put in some millimeter wave too. I mean, let's be honest, you know, that's definitely something that's going to be fitting of this situation. A total of $100 million in CapEx allocated to the upgrading of the network in LA and SoFi Stadium, all for the 5G infrastructure. As a result, 95% of users in greater LA are now covered by the 5G you see. So they probably went ahead and built some new sites, put some small cells, I'm assuming, with the millimeter wave upgrades. Uh, We'll look for confirmation on that. I'll see if I can get a hold of anything. We do have some correspondence within the SMT Nation who could probably chime in and get us some footage. I'll see if I can pull that for you guys. But a brand new state-of-the-art 5G system at the stadium. So that would sound like an IDAS. And it's got 100 gig backhaul. That's big time, guys. All right, look, there it is, confirmed. Mid-band, millimeter wave. So they probably got a combination of the 2.5 gigahertz, uh, the N41, and then for millimeter wave, it's probably going to be 39 gigahertz, I think. So that would be the N260. All right, upgraded indoor 5G systems at more than a dozen venues. So they're in multiple buildings within the area uh, for the big game. 5G upgrades, new installations across hundreds of macros nearly 200 small cells. So there's our answers. We got them all. We, I just assumed I didn't even read this article yet. So this is the first time I've read it, but it looks like everything that you would want is there. IDAS systems, 100 gig backhaul, small cells, millimeter wave, N41 with a dense grid. Man, I really wish they would do this in cities all over the country. And I, you know, they eventually will, you know, it's just, it's up to their CapEx, right? how fast they want to scale and when they want to reach their goals and get that coverage and offer that capacity. Good stuff from T-Mobile. This is great. And, you know, T-Mobile is going to want to compete. You know, Verizon is the 5G carrier of the NFL. It would be good to see T-Mobile kind of, you know, jockey for position. I know they're trying to change the network perception, and this is a good way to do it. Get up in front of everyone. You know, we're talking about tens of millions of people watching this game, you know, people at the game. You know, talking about the game, the ads are huge. We'll see if they can pull some some stunts for ads, too. We know that Verizon's bringing the heat. I'm just glad to see the companies truly actually competing with network performance. You know, talking a big game, big game is great, you know, these carriers and all that, but it's show and prove. It's always been it always will be about the networking. All the other BS is here today and gone tomorrow. It's all just talk. But this is this is this is the real talk. This is how you talk with network upgrades. That's the truth. Uh, Please do comment below your thoughts on this. What do you guys think of the upgrades? Excited about this? Um, All of the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Comment down below. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Uh, Do check out the links in the description for my email, my Patreon page. My Twitter handle is there. Support us and uh, get connected with the community. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.